Another one of our favorites has made the leap from the Broadway stage to primetime, right Paul? Yes indeed, Tamsin. Taylor Louderman is best known for originating the role of Queen Bee Regina George in Mean Girls the Musical. These days, you can see her starring alongside Kenan Thompson on the new NBC series, Kenan. <laughs> Our next guest today is a doula named Ellen Davis, here with her new book, Get This Thing Out of Me, Tips and Tricks for Your Best Birth. Kenan has been unreal, both Kenan Thompson, the individual, and the show, Kenan. Um, it's really been a dream come true because I was, I, I just fell in love with comedy ever since Kinky Boots and then, you know, Mean Girls, I just learned even more. Um, bringing it to the screen, though, is totally different. I'm grateful that I had people around me, you know, Keenan, uh, Chris Redd, Kim Ree, Don Johnson, all these people just being like, yeah, you're, this, you're killing it. You know, this is going well, which, which was uh, helpful to hear that encouragement. I love your character, Tammy, who is the co-host on Wake Up With Keenan. She doesn't always say the smartest thing, but she's extremely sure of herself. It's like she thinks she's on top of things, but what comes out of her mouth isn't always that, is it? Correct. Yeah, she walks the line of being really good at her job and a complete mess, a complete disaster. And I love that about her. Uh, and she's not fully aware. In fact, I don't think she's aware at all of her downfalls there, which makes her delicious. And, uh, you know, that that energy of being on screen and having to keep it all together and um, getting to see a little bit of a unraveling uh, when, when she or Keenan <laughs> messes something up is so fun to play with as a, as a character. Now, I've read that your backup career was actually to be a TV reporter like Tammy. Is that true? Yeah, it's so funny. My mom reminded me of this when I got the part. She was like, you know, you used to tell me if you weren't going to be a star on Broadway, you wanted to um, be like a news reporter. And I, I sure did. I have a girlfriend, actually, who's from my hometown, who is a news reporter in St. Louis, where I am, where I live. Um, and so I reached out to her and I was like, hey, can you send me any references on really uh, obnoxious, trying too hard uh, news reporters <laughs> that you know, and she sure did. Well, let's pretend you are a reporter and you just landed a big exclusive one-on-one -on -one with your co-star, Don Johnson. What would be the number one question you would have to ask him? <laughs> well, I know he loves talking about Miami Vice and my grandmother loves hearing about it. So I would definitely start asking him about his days on Miami Vice. But I have to admit, I would, I have to do some research because I haven't seen it. <laughs> Let's go. You know, 10 years ago, you were starring in Bring It On, which is the musical that brought you to Broadway. And that was the first time I saw you. You were fantastic in that show. As you look forward now, what do your Broadway dreams look like? I think that my goals now um, are, are to just make sure I'm involved in a story that I want to tell. I, I, I'd love to grow up a little bit in Broadway, like not be a high schooler anymore. Um, not that I'm complaining by any means, <laughs> but um, I think it would be fun to tackle a more adult <laughs> role. <laughs>